Okay, y'all, so I just finished cooking my ramen. And I'm going to show you a way to kind of make it taste a little better if you don't want just like plain ramen. So I don't put the water in there. I just kind of take it out like that. So it's not as watered down. Okay, so once I'm done with that, I have this, this, and some shredded cheese that I'm going to put into here after I add this. So, first I'm going to add the packet. Scratch that. First, I'm going to add this so everything coats the noodles and sticks to them. And you want to try to do all this while it's still hot because obviously you want the cheese melt. So then I'm going to add a little bit of this. Not much of that. That'll do. And then I'm almost out of garlic powder and I hate it. I use it for like everything. Okay, so then we'll put some of that and then you'll stir it. Then after that's all done, I put some shredded cheese on there. A good amount and stir it so it melts so then it looks like this let me see if I can get a little more garlic powder on there and then try to like mush it in there and then I put some more cheese on top Oh my god, this is so messy. And this literally tastes so freaking good. The oil makes it taste like buttery. And the cheese and the garlic, oh, it's so good. So if you ever want ramen, but you don't want just plain ramen, you want to feel a little fancy, then make it like this. It is so good. I promise you, you will not regret it. By the way, I'm working on a vlog. So I just wanted to get some type of video up. And I figured I would show the people how I make my ramen. Alright, see you later.